Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys how I wear my hair in my protective styles to take care of my postpartum shedding, okay? You guys know from watching my last video, I have been going through some crazy postpartum shedding. Even though it is growing back, thank God. Insert photo here, thank you very much. Yeah, so my hair has been growing back. Um, I It is shedding less, so this is all the hair that shed um, from today's wash day, and I did not even pre-food. So this is all the hair that shed. This is a photo of the hair that has shed previously. So not only is it growing back, the shedding is decreasing. So I'm really excited about that. So like I said in my last video, I have been wearing my hair in these 12 jumbo plaits. I have extended my wash day to two to three weeks. And so I'm gonna be rocking these plaits. I have my wig, so I'm gonna be putting on my stocking cap, rocking my wig, and rocking my plaits. All right, guys? So without any further hold up, let's jump into this look. I'm gonna be taking you guys step by step through all the products that I've used. And oh yeah, I wanted to make sure, shout out to this Ayurvedic Herbal Oil. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on this, let me know. I have been using this. This is what I try to use every night, but I'm noticing I'm doing it like every two to three nights. But I try to use this every night on my temple areas to reduce the shedding. And it has really been working. So it has like um all the Ayurvedic herbs in it. Um, henna, ashwagandha, amla, bringraj, fenugreek, MSM. It has everything that the hair and scalp loves for hair growth. And I think it's been working. So, can't wait for my girls to fill back in. But I am excited that it is growing back. So I'm pleased with the results. Let me know if you want me to do a DIY video on this. I will do that for you guys. But that's enough talking from me. Let's get into this look. Okay, so let me give you all some context for this video. This video was recorded on June 7th, all right? So today is July 8th, so roughly about a month ago. So what you're looking at is my hair's progress on June 7th. So I'm just examining my growth. And now you can see where I started, April 20th, when everything fell out. May 18th, so I'm showing you guys the progress from the beginning of the hair fall pretty much up until June 7th right now. However, at the end of this video, you will see um, pictures that I took after June 7th. So I just wanted to show you guys that because you're gonna see like, okay, my hair is this length now, but then you'll see pictures at the end where it's even longer. So I just want you to know that I added some updated pictures at the end. So let's get into this look. So what I do is I part my hair in four sections. As you can see, my hair is super dry. So because my hair is so dry, as you look at the ends, my hair is so dry, I'm like literally looking for um, the original part because I've been wearing my hair like this for like the past two, three months. So I'm just looking for the original parts so I don't have to go in and like part my hair properly because it was so tangled and so dry. So I section each, um, I section my hair off in four and then each of these sections I am going to part in three. So I'm gonna do three braids per section. Now, um, what I like about this protective style is that it's so simple and easy to do, so simple and easy to rock. Um, I would refresh it every week to every week and a half, especially at night. I live in Florida, you guys know, so I sweat at night and the back of my hair gets so matted. So it's really important for me at least every week to, like every seven to 10 days to actually loose out the back. The front is good, but the back, I definitely have to loose out, clarify, rehydrate, and moisturize so I have my style I don't wash my hair until about three weeks this particular one I just took it out last week so this lasted almost four weeks so what I do wet the hair 
And I'm really going to go in and hydrate it really well with the hydrotherapy mist. And then add the leave-in conditioning milk. So this is going to help, those two are going to help the tangles really glide out and glide out easily. So as you can see, I'm just pulling down on it, helping the tangles to loosen up and come out. Then it's going to make my combing and my detangling process so much easier. So as you can see, the comb just glided through. The detangling brush is just gliding through. And this is what I love about my Total Moisture Repair collection. All of the products are great for detangling so you get less breakage. So now I'm going in with the Twist and Curl Souffle. And I'm going to add that to the hair strands. Again, downward motion. And look at the curls coming to life. So look at my dry hair to the top. Now look at my moisturized curls. This is what I'm talking about, okay, boo? Now for the star of the show, honey. This Ayurvedic oil, I wish I could... Mm, I wish I had a link for you to try it. It is so good. Like literally has been helping my hair grow back. My edges grow back. And I mean, look at the spring. Look at the spring in my curls. So what I do after I add all those products, I just do my plait. I do a big chunky plait. Um, what I like is that it's still flat. So even though it's kind of big, the plaits are much flatter than twists. So what I normally do is do each section so you have a total of 12 plaits pull it back in a ponytail and honey i pop my wig on and i'm good to go or i pop on a nice beanie and it's not lumpy or anything it's still flat and i'm good to go and that's why this style is so easy it's so versatile and i literally don't have to worry so again hydrate really really well it's summertime honey and my hair is dry like pregnancy just made my skin dry my skin drier my hair drier <laughs> it's been rough so going in with that leave-in conditioning milk again as you can see I'm pulling on my hair making sure to loosen up those tangles and then going in with my detangling brush and really working those tangles out with my um, detangling comb and my detangling brush then I go in again with the twist and curl souffle wait wait for <laughs> come on now y'all be sleeping but it's okay it's okay go in with the twist and curl souffle moisturize my curls like really get that rich moisture in there it's made with mango butter kokum butter it's made with babasu and sweet almond oil and it's just such a rich luxurious butter like you are going to love this twist and curl souffle and then i go in with my ayurvedic herb just look at the difference between these two look at the difference look look at the difference you saw how my hair started and just look how like that's how you know your curls are still healthy it doesn't matter how it starts it's how it ends those curls are they, they healthy boo they strong honey they hydrated they're moisturized and <laughs> they're good to go okay and so big plait make sure i twirl my ends make sure my ends are tucked that's how you know you got healthy ends always make sure to pay attention to your ends keep them well and moisturized okay and again same process rinse and repeat so we hydrate we detangle with the um, leave-in conditioning milk and we do that super moisturizing process with the twist and curl souffle we lubricate the scalp and the hair strands with the Ayurvedic oil dry moisturized and there you have it guys look at that so we got three in the back six three on each side in the front six for a total of 12. now i'm gonna take my ponytail ring honey i'm gonna pull it back but look how flat it is so that's what i'm saying like i have a middle part wig i just pop that baby on honey and i'm good to go like literally good to go so this is why I love that this style I have been rocking this like I said for the past two to three months I think and it's just been a lifesaver I'm gonna pull some pictures too because after I take it out it looks it oh it's so gorgeous as a braid out my hair is still moisturized I still have really good definition and then I get to rock the braid out for another week so it really is versatile there is it on the right can you believe it this is my hair after four weeks, almost four weeks. This is my braids, still moisturized. Still, I hadn't put moisture in this for about 
I would say a week and a half, almost two weeks, no product has been in this hair. And look how defined. And then this is the pre-poo. So these pictures are after June 7th. So this is like the end of June. Yeah, so as you can see, it has been a wild journey, but a journey filled with progress, and I'm super excited. So if you want to check out the Total Moisture Repair Collection by my line, Jay Antoinette 1927, I will leave the link below with a coupon code so you guys can check it out. All right, till I see you guys again, stay beautiful. Bye-bye.